What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. It's still cold, it's still very windy, but at least the sun is kinda, kinda out. So I guess uh, we're painting calipers today. So with the car up in the air, the wheels off, you guys can see the current state of our front calipers and our rear drums. They look terrible. And today, we're gonna fix that. Now the plan for later on down the road, I do plan to upgrade the brakes in this car. Probably going to a 280 millimeter road in the front with a Girling 54 caliper, and then going from the drums in the rear to a disc, but that'll be for down the road a little bit. Right now, we're gonna make the stock setup just look nice. All right, so what we have over here, we picked up the other day is the new color for the brake drums and the brake calipers. I wanted like OEM, nothing too bright. And this is what we got. Rust-Oleum black stainless steel. It's like a matte black metallic. You can see the flake in it. I wanted gloss black metallic, a lot of flake, but I couldn't find it. So I think this uh, will do nicely. Just a little OEM plus kind of upgrade. That way they look nice behind the wheel. But it's nothing too, too flashy because again, they're small brakes and I don't want to paint a drum like bright yellow, bright red, none of that kind of stuff. I want to kind of be low key and I think this color, I don't know, little OEM plus kind of look, little flake in it. I think it'll look nice behind the Powertex. All right, we'll do a little bit of wire brush cleanup. Thankfully, I mean, these ones look kind of gross, but there's really not a lot of build them on. They're still pretty smooth, so quick and easy to clean up and then uh, start spraying. They're just pasta calipers? I mean, hang on. Okay, so I'm gonna do this for a minute. If I can get all of this like that, we might just send it like that, because that looks kind of cool. Uh, I don't want like a fully polished caliper, but like that silver looks pretty nice. Give me, give me a minute, we'll see if this... Is this actually gonna work? There's no way this is actually gonna work. I wanted the black, but that looks kinda cool. Hmm. This corner here is kinda dark still. It's coming back a little bit. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do this and have like a yeah, that's kind of cool. We'll see. Freshly painted black would be really nice, but we'll see if this looks halfway decent.
I mean, this back half's kind of staying like kind of dirty. Might have hit some more. But the front half looks kind of cool. It's not like polished, but it's like kind of close. <laughs> it's actually getting pretty shiny. Ah, <sighs> did I just leave it like this? Well, let's see if this arm comes back a little bit. Yeah, the arm won't be like this at all, but this is like a black and like, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Can't tell if I like it more than painting it, but. <laughs> it's getting so shiny. Like this corner is like a brand new caliper. I don't think this back section is gonna come up like this. Looks kind of cool though. I thought I should still paint it, but like it's kind of cool. I like that it's shiny like that. But the rear drum will not be like this at all. So I'd have to paint the rear drum for sure. Maybe the black on the rear leaves in the front? Or should I just paint it? I thought I should just paint it. Let me show you driver's side. Hasn't been touched yet. And now let me show you passenger side. Look how shiny this thing got. I actually kind of can't believe it. Normally if you go through and like sandblast something, you can kind of get it shiny like this. But with just a, like a wire wheel, I don't know, normally they don't come back like that shiny. I wish the whole thing was like that and the upper arms, but these arms are part of the knuckle. This is like that really annoying one piece situation that I don't like at all, which eventually will get swapped out. But I'm kind of surprised at how shiny these things game. Now, it is cool, but still gonna paint it black. Very, very cool. I like the shiny silver, but I want to see the black behind the silver here. I don't really want to have silver and silver, even though eventually these will be swapped out anyways. Um, we bought the black paint. I want to use it. So there's your last look at the shiny silver caliper that very, very soon will be uh, metallic matte black. All right, black stainless steel. Do not let me down. All right, so first couple layers done. And honestly, this stuff, you guys know, love me rust of all time. This stuff sprays on super thick and honestly, like crazy, crazy smooth. Now you see this, this to me looks more matte black, correct? Or like a satin finish, but more black than gray. But now seeing it actually spray out of the can, way more of like that charcoal gray metallic. And it's actually way more glossy than I thought. And I did the, uh, the heat shield here, the dust cover there. But that color next to the Atlas Gray, uh-huh, uh-huh, not bad. I mean, they're tiny, but like, I don't know, that color complements the gray of the car very, very well. And I think that behind the wheel is gonna be very, very nice. I wouldn't have minded the black, but honestly, the gray is, uh, the gray is sick. Now, if you are wondering why I didn't go through and actually tape off the brake pad, um, I have new pads and rotors coming for this car in a handful of days. Honestly, I could have left the entire rotor exposed, but something just said, don't do that. I just couldn't bring myself just to paint the entire rotor. So we painted the backside of the pad. Doesn't affect anything, not a big deal. And a handful of days, new rotor, new pad, all brand new stuff. That looks good. That looks really good. And I'm hyped that it's like gray and it matches the car kind of. So the passenger side of the car is officially done. My goal was not to have paint match calipers, but that's pretty much exactly what I got and I'm loving it. I had thought about the idea of doing actually paint match calipers, but then I had to order the paint that matched the car and do all that kind of stuff. But this just happened to work out so much better. I thought it was gonna be more like a black color. It's definitely not, but again, I'm not mad about it. And the color just looks great and it matches the car very very well maybe a little bit more like metallic flake in it but honestly like looking from here it's pretty close obviously that wasn't the gold paint match but as close as it is i'll take it so this side is done this side is all masked off and the rear is just well the rear and then uh we'll be done and also this front caliper did the same thing Nice and shiny, kind of like half and a half again, which is cool, but I really like the gray we just did, so 
it's all gotta go. All right, done and done. So, so good. Ignore the uh, the crustiness in the background. Eventually, all that will go away, me new. But focus right here. The caliper itself looks fantastic. I wish the sun would come back out, which it almost is. But this looks sick. The goal was not to have paint match calipers, but I'm glad it worked out this way because that looks so good. It's crazy how close that color is. Like, it really, really is. I'm really hoping the sun comes back out because I want to show you guys that extra little flake in the paint and the calipers because it's really, really nice. We might, eh, maybe. There's this mess here and then a little bit of sun and then that mess on its way. So I'm hoping this breaks for a second. I just need like one sunbeam onto the caliper. I can show you guys how nice the flake is in this paint. All right, well, sun's not coming back out, so flashlight it is. Hopefully you can see. Kind of hard to on camera, but there's tons of super nice flake in there. And I'm quite a fan of this color. Yeah, I think my chances of getting any sunlight the rest of the day are pretty much chalked because, uh, yeah, well, I guess, uh, GG's clouds. All right, it is time for the power tech to go back to the Mark II. That way we can see the full effect of our work here. So I've said it many times, but you guys know the goal is to get coilovers for the Mark II and lower the car down a little bit. But seeing the wheels on and kind of like a lifted Mark II looks super cool as well. There is also a guy with a red Mark II Jetta who made his own lifted Jetta Country and it looks super cool. And this kind of reminded me of that. It actually looks pretty cool seeing the car up this high. I say we scrap the coilover idea, we lift the car, put some bash bars on the front, even bigger tires on the power techs, and we hit some sweet jumps. Ooh, hang on a second. Instead of a lifted Jetta or a lower Jetta, we do a squatted Jetta and just make everyone super upset. We'll put coilovers in the rear, we'll like tuck the rear tire, lift the front, and just make everyone very, very upset on the internet. The Jetta is officially back on the ground, and when it's kind of like this, kind of dark and overcast, the brakes are very, very subtle. Like, you can see them in there, but they're not like bright in your face, which I think is super, super cool. Very OEM Plus-like. Just a little bit peeking through, which is cool, and it matches the car so well. Love that. I wish we had some sun, though, because the metallic flake in this car looks amazing in the light. But honestly, a million times better. And again, the fact the color almost matches the car identically is so, so cool. It's a very, very subtle change, but the car looks so much cleaner now. Also, once we have brand new brake rotors and pads in the front, that'll also make a huge difference on how the front setup looks. Also, speaking of parts for this car, everything from Rock Auto has officially shipped and it should be here, I think, Monday, Tuesday of next week. And that's all the parts, the brake rotors, the pads, the radiator, spark plugs, all that kind of stuff, the fuel filter, and have this car nice and dialed in. And then, once all the new parts are on the car and everything's sorted, I think the first place we'll drive to in the Mark II will be to the muffler shop because as cool as the car sounds, and yes, it's a full-blown race car, I do want to have a complete exhaust and actually have a muffler in the back going out of the back side of the car. So I think we'll get like a Magnaflow muffler on the car, a chrome exhaust tip, and just call it a day. All right, well, I was kind of hoping we'd get some sunshine today, but I just do not see that happening. However, though, the clouds look crazy right now and the temperature is dropping very quickly. All right, it's getting very cold out here. I'm gonna end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave some comments down below. Do we like the gray calipers on the gray car? It wasn't planned at all, but honestly, I'm not mad about it, and it worked out perfectly. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.